Please be seated. Provost, Chair, graduands and honoured guests, it is my great pleasure to welcome you to this graduation day and a warm welcome also to those family and friends who are joining us remotely. We meet today to recognise the outstanding achievements of students at Imperial College. Ultimately, our time at Imperial is measured and recognised through our academic accomplishments. But today is about so much more than that. Today we recognise as well sporting triumphs, artistic and musical excellence, diversity of culture, diversity of ideas, the willingness to volunteer our time for the benefit of others, and above all, the continued commitment to excellence and to the betterment of the world around us. For more than 60 years, Imperial College students have graduated in this hall. These ceremonies have proceeded through times of hardship and of prosperity, through times of peace and of conflict. Conflict has been on many of our minds lately, and no doubt the war in Ukraine has deeply affected many of our students, including, I'm sure, some of you graduating here today. In times of such grave uncertainty, we yearn to know what the future holds for us, to know that tomorrow will be a little brighter than today. I've reflected lately on the words of one of the college's own Nobel laureates, Dennis Gabor, one whose life was shaped by conflict. Born into a Hungarian Jewish family, he fled Nazi Germany for Britain in 1933. Writing about war and other threats to society, he coined a now well-known phrase, the future cannot be predicted, but futures can be invented. We all play a shared role in inventing the future, both in the literal sense of invention as it happens here in the college, but also in the broader sense in which our everyday actions bound the possibilities of the future. The postgraduate training that you have received here at the college has given you the tools for invention, but it falls to you to decide what kind of future you are shaping. A more prosperous future? A kinder future? A peaceful future? Or a future in which inequality and conflict are yet more deeply entrenched? Let us look to the example of those who came before. As graduates of the Faculty of Engineering, you carry the legacy of over 170 years of history across the City and Guilds College and the Royal School of Mines. 170 years of great scientific and technological advances. Imperial College does not lack for sources of inspiration. But moving forward, remember that while we now stand on the shoulders of giants, in future years, yours will be the shoulders upon which others stand. As you proceed to the next stage, whatever that might be, remember those shoulders on which you stand and be clear-eyed about how your choices shape our shared future. Be kind, treat others with empathy and with respect. Be innovative, make change, start something new, seek knowledge, but always for the betterment of humanity. Congratulations on all that you have achieved and best of luck with all that is to come. Members of court and council, colleagues, distinguished honorees, graduates, family and friends. It is my honour as the Provost of Imperial College London, on behalf of the President and the members of council, 
to welcome you to Graduation Day 2022. Before we begin the proceedings, I want to say that we as individuals and as an institution remain deeply concerned about the tragic events in Ukraine and our hearts go out to all of those who are affected. We will continue to do everything we can to support them within this community and beyond. Imperial has always been home to brilliant students and academics of all nations, including those who have fled their home country. And some of our greatest achievements come from refugees, indeed, like Dennis Gabor. That will remain so. We reaffirm our commitment to international collaboration and to welcoming students and academics from every part of the world. Now, today, I want first to salute our graduates on your success. Congratulations. You've worked hard for this momentous occasion, and you have earned these celebrations today. Any graduation is a big achievement, but you have arrived at this one after some extraordinary circumstances. You've had to adapt, improvise, and innovate through especially difficult times that we have faced recently. And through it all, you have excelled. The pandemic has created new challenges to the ways in which you completed your studies, and you rose to those challenges with determination and creativity. The long hours of work that you have spent in lectures, in laboratories, in libraries, and online have expanded your horizons, both intellectually and socially. Yet you've kept focused and kept moving forward even when it felt like the world around had come to a standstill. Many of you went above and beyond to volunteer to support your local communities. You can be very proud of yourselves for persevering and showing such resilience in the face of adversity. Now, this graduation is a bit different and perhaps not the one that you were expecting or indeed hoping for. While we have all of you here in this wonderful building, we are missing your crowd of supporters and cheerleaders. But even though they're not here in person because of the constraints imposed by the pandemic, our enjoyment of today is still very much enriched by those who supported you during your studies at Imperial and are watching this ceremony online around the world. Your parents, grandparents, mentors, extended family and friends have all been key parts of the networks that got you here and were there when you needed their support. They share in your triumphs and take pride in your accomplishments. So please let's show our appreciation to them now. And also, your professors, teachers, and the staff who have shared their knowledge, sparked your curiosity and imagination, inspired you and broadened your horizons, are crucial to you being here today. Their dedicated researchers and educators acknowledged leaders in their fields who went to great lengths to ensure that your education was of the highest caliber. They have shown you the importance of having high standards and of dedication. So let's thank them too. As you walk across the stage of this inspiring and historic hall, we're all proud of your achievements and applaud your many talents. In completing your degrees, you have faced many challenges, both usual and unusual, but you have learned both about your subject and about yourself, and you have succeeded. I know that your experiences during your time at Imperial will serve as a guide as you navigate what lies ahead. You'll leave Imperial with the confidence to take risks and to be creative. And I have no doubt that you will continue to grow, both as experts in your chosen fields, and to develop new approaches, clever solutions, and compelling ideas that will guide us in the future. 
I remember myself graduating from Imperial many years ago and the very real sense of accomplishment that accompanied that. My experience here opened new horizons for me to explore the world, both geographically and intellectually, and I hope that you will also find that it does so for you. I found lasting joy in learning and discovering and using that knowledge to make a small difference. And your journeys are only just beginning. I hope you will remain curious and retain a sense of wonder about the world throughout your careers as you continue to learn. There is a second purpose to this ceremony, not only celebrating the deserved award of your degrees, but also commissioning you to use what you have learned to build a better world. The future is necessarily uncertain, and we cannot predict what may happen, but with you helping to shape it, we can have high hopes. So as you go out in the world, first please think about doing what is right and not just what is easy or enjoyable. This will take discernment, but accomplishment always takes hard work and some difficult choices. Modifying the status quo demands new ways of working, but resist outcomes that are not fundamental and indeed not astounding. And second, approach your life with awareness of and empathy for others. Know what you value and stick to it. Human-made problems can be solved by humans working collectively, and an eye on the common good will serve you better in the long run than one focused on individual return. Goodness knows there are many challenges out there that are going to require a very broad set of perspectives to make headway. But you have many wonderful role models in the Imperial graduates who have gone before you, and you'll now join their esteemed ranks as alumni of this great institution. You are the inspiration for and the embodiment of excellence at the college, and you'll join over 200,000 alumni with the opportunity to encourage others to follow in your footsteps. I hope you will stay connected to the Imperial community. I hope that you've created lasting memories together here with colleagues and with friends, and they will help you adapt and to cope with whatever the future brings. We'll look forward to hearing your stories and celebrating your successes in the future. Imperial will retain its value by bringing benefit to society through our ideas and our people. From excellence in research and education, in science, engineering, medicine and business, to ensuring that these have a real impact in the world. So strive to do your best, to never stop learning, to extend your reach and to share your knowledge and your skills. You're important. You will define the future of our world. So commit yourself to the possibilities thereof. We have every faith in you as you pursue your dreams. So again, many, many congratulations. Provost and Chair, I beg leave to present those who have received awards within the Faculty of Engineering. The names will be announced by Professor Anthony Bull, Head of Department of Bioengineering, Professor Omar Mata, Head of Department of Chemical Engineering, and Dr. Lorraine Craig, Associate Dean for Learning and Teaching. Due to the large number of graduates being presented today, may I ask the audience to reserve applause to prize winners and until the end of the group. Diploma of the Imperial College Master of Science, Department of Aeronautics.
Ahmed Mana Abu El Hassan. Stelios Antokas. Muaz Ashraf. Eduardo Cardone. Lydia Carlos Roca. Summit Cherry. Asim Chalise. Joseph Lok Chun Chang. The Airbus Prize for the Best Student in MSc Advanced Computational Methods, Chan Chu Hin. Arjun Chatterjee, An Chen, Alexander Clave, Andrea John DiMarco, Ahmed Dea, Vincent Dukas, Daniel David Eberstein, Ismail Elhuas Gudana, Alba Maria Espinoza Rastol, Adrian Finance, Igor Gavron, Anissa Ishfag, Sayama Islam, Christian J. Nippel, Seung Huan Jan, Simon Jones, Stefan Yordanov Karmakov, Benjamin Keller Vassero. Charles Antoine Lassonnery, Marc Lelier, Joanne Lee, Xinyu Lee, Mario Lino Valencia, Bian List, Joseph Michael Reyes Liu, Luca Malone. Lawrence Frank Maskell, Kirtan Kuma Maski, Shafika Mohammed, Sanjeevan Nalathambi, Oscar Nazarenko, Sam Owens, Angelos Pakis, the Robert Bird Group Award. Amudena Parenta Rodriguez. <laughs> Nikolai Jan Pernak. Hugo Poissonnier. Anna Prieto Nemesio. Romain Kia. Alan Rahimi, Sakina Raymond, Pascal Rubinstein, Sonia Surfras, Kanjawadi Synchronat, Andy Sakanda, Macho Vazea, the DSDL Prize in Composite Materials, Christos Venetis, Victoria Vilches, the Airbus Prize for Best Student in MSc Advanced Aeronautical Engineering, Ignacio Villanueva Romero, Michael Williams, Jean Baptiste Violan. 
Certain Fi Zhang, Zheng Ho Zhang, Menke Zhuang. Diploma of the Imperial College Doctor of Philosophy, Department of Aeronautics, Vasilis Yanan. Llewellyn Morse, Alba Santmarty. That now concludes the graduates from the Department of Aeronautics. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduates. Diploma of the Imperial College Master of Science, Department of Bioengineering, Alexandra Abro. Andrea Agostinelli. Tashfia Ahmed. Constantine Akritidis. Issa Anwar. Tarek Nabil Afur. Jada Bakin. Polly Bainbridge. Tiffany Batiste. Berka Duga Basharun. Beatrice Bamberger Altiriba. Teddy Edmund Ben Cohen. Ludovica Bel Rardi. Paula Maria Bernando Fernandez. Cho Yu Chen. Tobias Charles. Christoph Korn. Aston Crawley. Lucia Anthebia. Madhan Jayarajan. Jordan Doling. Guillermo Dominguez. Kamar El Kotub. Julian L. H. Fong. Varan Fung. Harris Georgiou. Solène Girardier. Vinit Golapudi, Nicholas Hajitouli, Jamu Jang, Anne Maria Jos, Elvira Keg, Anna Dimitra Kataki, Rupinda Kaur. Yanka Kluger, Caroline Koch, Samradni Kolas, Michael Lam, Erwan Lilanu, Anna Laura Lareda, Sean Ming Han Lin, Sophia Lunetto. Cyril Maliné, Mariana Manu Kaklamani, Albert Martinez Basala, Mariana Massa, Andreas Michelidis, Maria Mikropoulou. Emma Miller, Kyle Mudge. The Bagrit Scholarship, George Nomikos. <laughs> Ahmed Naman. Bethany O'Hanlon Clayton. Olamidi Aminat Omoteo. Sam Orchard. Valentina Pacifico, Marcus Owen Panchel, 
Lydia Papacosta Tsikri. Su Hyung Park. Sophia Parasotti. Ambroise Perret. Thomas Perversi. Nonpawit Pumani. Letizia Protopapa. Letizia Protopapa, Salvena R. Sivaratnam, Tamana Rahman, the MSc Human and Biological Robotics Prize, Giovanni Rolandino, <laughs> Alison Saunders, Shakti Kaur Sangha, Marta Sariku, Oscar Slavicek, Sophocles Sophocleus, Laura Stickle, Christoph Amadeus Shepaniak, Andre Yang Feng Tan Mulligan, Eric Taylor, Laura Ann Taylor, Irena Tena Guerrero, Jonas Chomsland, Simona Trevasse, Marta Unthia Ribera, Pagon Utayopas, Martha Vakalopulu Pashalidu, Bing Shui Wang, Portia Watson, Carlos Wirt Carvajal, Jingjing Jing Bu. Jiha Wu, Jun K. Yao, Mikita Zabalotny, Diploma of the Imperial College Master of Research, Department of Bioengineering, Ignacio Albert Smet, David Alonso Amado. Ola Ayeko, Saeed Banama, Olivia Covey, Justin De Costa, Farnaz Fahimi Hanzai, Sergei Fayos Vialta, Jing Huang Hong, David Jung. Yasmin Kahie, Kurosh Kamali, Unus Kemal Kutlu, Chan Hui Li, the best Emirates bioengineering student, Natalie Ness. <laughs> Oystein of Avredo. Leonid Kleiner, Ostan of Ribber, Stephanie Schuler, the best Emres bioengineering student, Ilkam Sevgili. The best MRES medical device design entrepreneurship student, Nicholas Stionsin. <laughs> Thomas Alexander Tiono. Best MRES medical device design entrepreneurship student, Amaro Torres. <laughs> Ishan Unso. Lin Fen Wong. Diploma of the Imperial College, Doctor of Philosophy, Department of Bioengineering. Oluwalogwan Osualale Akinola. Tanyani Absan Pandelani. Quintiang Peng. 
Susie Chanel. Jackie Chu. And that now concludes the graduates from the Department of Bioengineering. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduates. Diploma of the Imperial College Master of Science, Department of Chemical Engineering. Adedeji Adeboye. Mariam Ahmad. Sarah Akbar. Abdullah Hamid Hilal Al Busaidi. Isa Ali Sayyid Muhammad Al Hashmi. Yasser Al Jaysh. Mubarak Al Yu. Tahira Shahreen Altaf. Robert Sochi Amako. Rikesh Amin. Ioma Anosike. Vauta Arts. Elpida Avram. Jen Baines. Gemini Barcher. Eric Benchak. Faris Rashid. James Butterworth. Adrian Corsby. Angeliki Halasti. Navita Nanchaona. Nefeli Haritu. Vandana Choya. Alicia Claramoon. Jack Clark. The Jeff Hewitt Prize for Outstanding Performance Overall, Astrid Coste. <laughs> Alexandros Daskalakis Montanos. Elvira Costanza Diaz Ortega. Costa Selefteriu. Clementine Michelle Hewins. Francesco Frabon. Tasnia Hack. Nihal Harris. Sarah John. Eleftherios Kakulidis. Dimitra Kaloyeropoulou. Lydia Carpuza. Constantina Kikiti. Sukyong Kim Anastasios Kutian Shivani Kumar Tugajin Kuchuku Chema Lawrence Fuyue Yang Uma Limbu Christina Lopez Canoyer the Jeff Hewitt Prize, Ben Lyons. <laughs> Julius Clarence Marcos. Louise Martin. Andres Martin Fuertes. Robert James Massey. Okay. Talha Masli. Melissa Marino Reyes. Hani Maslum. The Jeff Hewitt Prize for Outstanding Performance Overall. Amy Elizabeth Mead. <laughs> Asil. Zayed uh, Fadl Ahmad Muhammad. Tanya Muller. Fatimi Zahra Nabizadeh. Talha Naveed Zuberi. Dimitrios Nicolis.
Karen Diana Ondarza Salguero, John Paraiso, Sitong Pan, Lambros Papaspiros, Alexia Pascu, Keval Patel, Josh Peacock, Mohammed Akmal Popalzi, Jack David Powell, Nirajana Ravindran, Irfan Rehmat, Mani Rehani, Vespina Ryu, Ivan Robles, Octavio Armando Alvarez, Sarah Saduni, Mathushan Sabanayakam, the Jeff Hewitt Prize for Outstanding Performance Overall, Stephen Saccio. <laughs> Edgar Medina. The MSc Advanced Chemical Engineering Prize for Best Performance in Examinations, Lachizia Sanders Gialmada. <laughs> Simran Sangler. Vipka Sass, Komotso Silika, Dinesh Salvanathan, Yuchi Shi, Adesi Siwaniko, Rea Suarez, Diana Escamilla, Ratanon Suksumrun. Ikuchuku Uche, Kelvin Uguke, Alexander Ulrich, Ruben Umo, Socrates Flahopoulos, Andrew Walter, Haokun Wang, Hai Ting Wang, David Wickham, Chenan Yang, Jajun Zhou. Diploma of the Imperial College Master of Research, Department of Chemical Engineering. Prize for Excellence in Research and Science Communication, Guilin Fong. <laughs> Diploma of the Imperial College Doctor of Philosophy, Department of Chemical Engineering, Asen Bachfarov. The Weinberg Prize, Liam Kwang Bui Li. <laughs> Michael Ehrenstein. Shiladitya Ghosh. The Dudley Newitt Prize for Experimental Excellence, Eli Makridaki. <laughs> Francisco Jose Malare. Luciana Maria New. Mark Plunkett. That now concludes the graduates from the Department of Chemical Engineering. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduates. <laughs> Diploma of the Imperial College Master of Science, Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering. The Frank Hodgson Memorial Prize, Ahmed Amr Ali Abdurrahman. Sebastian Enrique Aido Malue, Christos Alamir, Ebisine Amba Kederemo, Julio Cano, Felipe Alarcon. Victoria Avgitidu, Omar Aziz, Angelo Pali, Theodoros Patsoulis, Pooja Pagat, Matthew Mark Lacher, J. 
Jacob Black. The Morris Hansen Prize, Paul Hua. <laughs> Daniel Fernandez. Sabrina Wen Sueso. Vasilios Pelos. So, where do we go back? Six nine? Six nine. Juliana? Juliana Burke. Laura Butler. Chan Mon. Vanessa Shao. Efrosini Harisi. Bowen Che. Yi Chong Chen, Enes Kesa, Jorge Gallegos, Luis Colomes, Lei Dai. The Black and Veach Prize in Environmental Engineering, Amandine Emilie Debus. <laughs> Lile Rachel de Combo. Umberto de Castillo Montes de Oca. Yasmin de Lens. Tang Shilong. Andreas de Simonas. Brecht Dyer. Shali Ding. Han Ding. Jorge Dot Fraga. Tamil Tucker, Muhammad Sameh El Ashri, Guida El Kazi, Alexandra Air Four, Hu Fung Fan, Ariane Forrest. Patricia Gambiza, Augustine Gonzalez, Aphrodite Caraguni, <laughs> Basilios Coloyanis, Amy Louise Gooding, Alexander William Grace, Duncan James Graham. The Black and Beach Prize in Environmental Engineering, Paul Predigui. <laughs> Catherine Grutch. Pierre Louis Guillermin. Eloise Harmon. Peter Herlich. Sabine Hijazi. Susanna Hill, Heinrich Hummel, <coughs> Sharuk Hussein, Enrique Martinez, <laughs> Emmanuel Ignovia. Is that right? Carlos Ariagada, Murat Imashev. Is that right? Which way is it? Where are we? Let's see. Down here? Four two down. Great. Right. Sunway Chin. So where are we now? <laughs> Senna Johnny. Rory Jones. Obeida Kaime, Christos Caripidis, Serios Panos, the ABS Consulting Prize in Earthquake Engineering, Leticia Chitti Centenary Memorial Prize, and the Patrick J. Dowling Prize in Advanced Structural Engineering, 
Ziyad Brahim Muhammad Khalil. Timothy Clayley. Stelios Cleanthus. Vasilios Kutselinis. Carla Kravchik. Unjana Krishnan. Sarah Madi. Maria Mayula. Druva Mahimut Mahimtura. Yorios Macripulias. Joanna Mandelia. Ben Marriott. The Malcolm Puller Prize, Susie Marley. Erica Bravo. Stephanie Marvin. Catalina Meza. Mikhail Mikhailidis. Daniel Mimuni. Vasilios Mitsopoulos. Leonardo Mendez. Temirhan Mirzahmet. The Victor Appleby uh, Memorial Prize, Alexandra Nikolopoulos. <laughs> Solane Novelin. Jamario Oliviero. Tolulope Olusina. Mustafa Chan Oskhan. Karen Paez. The Victor Appleby Memorial Prize, Jonathan David Cranco Page. <laughs> Simone Pagliara. Farad Paliwal. Ravi Palmer. The Frank Hodgson Memorial Prize, Joanna Petrov. The Maurice Hansen Prize, Joaquin Pons. <laughs> Guy Protani. Meher Rashid. Bosawat Ratana Siriwilai. Agatha Redut. Sayed Sajad Sajad. Stavros Samaras Camilarakis. Luisa Sampaio. Nils Schneer. William George Sharp. Georgina Sharp. Ryan Chakralahi. Joe Chu. Daphne Solomonid. Pablo Ochoa, Joshua Sugars, Mengwei Tai, Lewis Tai, Ivan Tam, Kianlung Tan, Muhammad Mustafa Taqi, Andrew Guanyan Tom, Constantinos Theodoriadis, Chetsi Tong, Eleni Anastasia Tsaftaridi, Evangelia Tsakiraki, Anastasia Tsikankova, Socrates Siliopoulos, David Tudor, Mark Young. Julia Van Elslander, Yorios Vasilakis, Hector Vera, Yorgos Vuvakos, the uh, Frank Hodgson Memorial Prize, Arush Wadwa, <laughs> Shuiying Wang, Nicole Opiem Weber. 
the Ronald Stewart Jenkins Memorial Prize, Ben Weber. Yanan Siong. Guillaume Su. Irina Yadrikova. Tichon Young. Evangelos Ifantidis. Maya Zatar. Constantina Zakliverin. Constantinos Zarifidis. Elian Chang. Thomas Silla. Iad Zimmo. The Diploma of the Imperial College Doctor of Philosophy, Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering. Christine Bischoff. <laughs> Natividad Troncoso. Ranjit Soman. Shin Mon. Roger Tio. That now concludes the graduates from the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduates. <laughs> Diploma of the Imperial College Master of Science, Department of Computing. Jamal Afzali. Alexander Alani. Elliot Benisti. The Corporate Partnership Program MSc Group Project Prize, Patrick Benjamin. <laughs> Mart Hulo. Arthur Brader. Francois Hulaco. Ben Butterworth. Armand Cadet. Han Carlson. The Winton Capital Applied Computing MSc Prize, Laura Cohn. <laughs> Alexander, Alexandre Vincent Chenu. Yanying Sophia Chiang. The Corporate Partnership Program, Commendation for MSc Project, Group Project, uh, Andrew Cho. Bogdan Crystal, Thibault Derrick, Benedetta Delfino, Gaetan Dissed, Tolga Dur. The Corporate Partnership Program Awards for Academic Excellence, the Corporate Partnership Program MSc Group Project Prize, Martin Adrian Fish. <laughs> Charles Forot. Guillerme de Brito Freire. Xian Fu. Kang Gao. Alba Garcia Rey, Jinchen Ge, Eugenia Guerrero Quintana. The Winton Capital Prize for the best MSc Advanced Computing student, the Winton Capital Applied Computing MSc Project Prize, Benoit Guillard. <laughs> Andreas Hajanton, Hamish Hall. The Corporate Partnership Program Award for Academic Excellence, Veneta Karlambieva. The Corporate Partnership Program MSc Group Project Prize, Finn Harmon. Sacha Hu. Kevin Huberti. Julian Josvik, Vesko Karadochev, Pranav Cassetti, Hannah Rose K. The Corporate Partnership Program MSc Group Project Prize, Muhammad Daniel Khan. 
Muhammad Daniel Farouk Irfan Khan, Pratha Kandelwal, Stefan Lauren, Bogdan Nazarescu, Shahu Li, Tong Li, Michelle Liu, Davide Locatelli, Savas George Macariu, Alberto Marcetta, the Corporate Partnership Program MSc Group Project Prize, John Felix Messner, the Corporate Partnership Program MSc Group Project Prize, Charles Metz. Arkadiusz Mekowajczuk, Maria Mushat, Tin Nguyen, Lukasz Nipolski, Zifeng Nu, Noah Vincenz Now, Konstantinos Dolkeras, Shu Okabe, Yoris Alduyans, Ziyun Po, Neophytos Polidoru, Weimeng Chin, Molieski Radford, Anna Heather Margaret Richardson, Emmanuel Risson, Helen Rousset, Kaywon Katie Saar, Ismail Salim, Daniel Savu, Debop Debopam Sengupta, Pranay Dilip Shah, Clement Tabari. The Corporate Partnership Program MSc Group Project Prize, Gabor. Tajna Foy, Michael Tenzi, Nicholas Tobis, the Corporate Partnership Program MSc Group Project Prize, Kevin Todd, Paul Varden, Judah Andre Vrabi, Han Wong. Arthur Wilke, Eloise Withnall, Tiu Shou Wu, Haoshen Shu, Maurice Wajdi Saad, Meru Chang, Ziyu Chang, Chunyun Chong. Michael Zotov, the Diploma of the Imperial College Doctor of Philosophy, Department of Computing, Pierre Berthe Rain, Seneca Fernando, Benjamin Hu, Tristan Laidlaw, Xinjie Meng. Christian Tribe, G. Hu, Shireen Siakwa King, Yufei Wu, and Paris Gekka. And that now concludes the graduates from the Department of Computing. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduates. Diploma of the Imperial College, Master of Science, Dyson School of Design Engineering, Siobhan Louise Anderson. 
Nadia Basser, Monica Chaiduri, Simon Cundell, Finlay Duncan, Natalia Keres. The Award for Outstanding Achievement in the MSC Global Innovation and Design Prize. Antonia Paul Mendiata. Shrivani Mistra. Christina Molinari. Chris Moats. Nacho Villanova. Diploma of Imperial College, Doctor of Philosophy, Dyson School of Design Engineering. Cristobal Garcia Herrera. Pang Fei Mi. That now concludes the graduates from the Dyson School of Design Engineering. Please join me in a round of applause for the graduates. <laughs> Diploma of Imperial College, Master of Science, Department of Earth Science and Engineering. Hanan Hakmed. Kalpur Akornde. Salahuddin Akbari, Ahmed Mohammed Al Nadi, Vagif, no. Jennifer Oyinda Del Mora Adepuru. Bagif, Bagif Aliyev, Promise Esogeya Ahante, Afala Aliyararu Afsev, Socrates Agnostopoulos, Miriam. Alanelu, Laura, Maria, Grazia, Antonio, Ramondo, Whitney, Anua, Fayibo, Andreki, Awi Roye, Machak, Den Atak, Happiness, Ativia, Nicholas, Aviran Nisus, Christina Elena Ayala Rodriguez, Sheikh Imran Azi Rahman, Sarah Bader, Hector George Barnett, Theophil Paul Francois Matthias Barry, Enrique Benavides Rosales, Elise. Flores Ben Mufu. Amshot Singh Balar. Samir Bustani Nakra. Richard Boyd. The Best Individual Project Award, James Edward John Burtonshaw. <laughs> Mary
Mersha Kalarasu, Alexander Campbell, Albert Selma Ortiga, Yorgos Kasilokitlos, Sue Chen, Teresa Maria Chitaninga Titas, Marcella Kamasima, Holly Coglan. Hugo Cousins, Jackie Dalglish, the Journal of Petroleum Geology Prize, Alice Davis, <laughs> Monica Dubb, Mahmoud El Morsi, Kevin King Yuv Fun, Ragad Gaderbu. Dinesh Guison, Jorge Garcia Diaz, Nathaniel Gillett, John Uliski, Orlando Reyes Neto, Edward Gooden, Larry Hammer. Ryan Hampton, Benjamin Heap, Elhan Imanov, William Ewan James Jewell, Amir Joffe, Roy Eden Rhodes Johnson, Camille Kerr Kakar, Asifa Campbell. The Alan Greenbarton Award, Luke Michael Carney. <laughs> Daniel Kiyo. Hamid Pandar Harhe. So Sophie Josephine Kulaf. Hassan Mustafa Kursid. Hitesh Kumar. May K. Lai. Maria Christina Lake, Vincent Richard Laville, Damian Lipsky, Chai Lun Liu, Ye Liu, Andreas Loakim, Alizra Mahmoudi. Abdul Rahman Masood, Anika Mayachiti, Nadia Mayray, Frederick Robert Minahan, Lisa Mystery, Mtiaz Rafik, Florence Rosamund Moss Winterbottom, Hanan Mujahidi. Mohammed Awes Muridi, Altania Mursabaye, Perskovia Nazinga, Alan Oldham, Matthias Otul Pies, Ashgild Oxus Strom. The MSC Petroleum Geoscience Fieldwork Prize, Milas Payne. <laughs> Deborah Palacina Cruz. Valentin Pelletier. The MSC Petroleum Geoscience Fieldwork Prize, Fabio Giuseppe Peluso. <laughs> Claire Ellen Penny. Nichikol Pipitve. Deidre Eleanor Pollock, Callum James Alan Ross, Charles Oliver Russell Saxby, Dominic Sparks, He Young Sal, Zensha Shen, Jakob Shitznetsky, 
David Solomonov, Jack Charles Wilson Spencer, Charlotte Steen, Thomas Stevenson, Laura Chang Su, Karima Sufian, Muhammad Ranga Surya Dingda, the MSc Petroleum Geoscience Best Independent Project Prize, Laura Lee Sylvester. Otto Whitaker Terrell. Marius Theodorakalopoulos. Oscar Frederick Torren. The MSc Petroleum Geoscience Fieldwork Prize, Maria Olivia Torcha. <laughs> Ping Chang Tsai. Florum. Lauren George Veem, Nick Nico Fornaham, Florum, yeah, Florum Lauren George Vimes, Nico Fornaham, John Walding, the London Petrophysical Society Prize, Carl Thomas Watts. Alice Webster, Kehi Wen, Jessica Laura May Weevil, Sebastian Wiggins, Waswat Yayankun, the diploma, Cleo Ekaterina Zervidi. The Diploma of Imperial College, Doctor of Philosophy, Department of Earth Science and Engineering. Emily Rachel Bruges. Nyagjoth Kureka. Afifi Tabas Suntini. That now concludes the graduates from the Department of Earth Science and Engineering. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduates. Diploma of the Imperial College Master of Science, Department of Electrical and Electronic Engineering. Maxim Bourdon. Anran Chen. Afanasi Chihaoglu. Yahao Ding. Branu Dugal. William Fuller. Jan Li Gao. Hannah Hay, Mohammed Daniel Javed, Herth the Hertha Ayrton Centenary Prize, Lay Crown, <laughs> Jing Xin Li, Shua Lin, Shi Luo. The Hertha Ayrton Centenary Prize and the MSc Control Systems Outstanding Achievement Prize, Kayan Miao. Andreas Michelidis. Jen Xu Niu. Stephen Oluwashewi Oguniran. Yihan Pan. Katerina Rentumi. Mohammed Jawid Salimi. Roland Schwann. Aditya Gaga. Roland Schwann. Monja Shi. Vlada Sonic. Yang Kei Sun. Mohammed Humsa Tanvir. 
Aman Verma, Shun Wan, Henry Wang, Chao Han Wang, Shumin Wang, Wee Jun He, Hong Jian Shao, Ji Cheng Shu, Wang Chu Shu, Fan Yang, Pantali Sephiropoulos, Zhen Zhang. The Ivor Tupper Prize for Excellence in Signal Processing, Broadcast and Video Technology, Yu Meng Zhang. <laughs> Diploma of the Imperial College Doctor of Philosophy, Department of Electrical and Electronic Engineering, Matthew Douthwaite, Ali Hamid, Jong Hoon Kim, Han Ren, Manolis Vasileadis, Fang Zhang. And that now concludes the graduates from the Department of Electrical and Electronic Engineering. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduates. Diploma of the Imperial College, Master of Science, Department of Materials. Hannah Louise Brass. Muzi Chen. Guangxiao Chen. Hui An Chen. Sonu Dudania. Guillaume de Certain. Sylvia Solavas Barnard. Ning Fang. Makanitu Gaziria. Toby Han. The William Penny Prize. Chin Li Shi. Zhu Ying Hu. Hu Hang. Jin. Omna Kidulaite. Alexander John Morris Cott. Meng Xuan Li. Pen Yuan Yu. Pei Ying Lu. Yuichi Lu. Justine Menard. Dora Noish. Kiran Patel. Tukshan Samarukan. Shushuan Shi. Anas Siddiqui. Jejun Song. Ying Sun. Chukying Tan. Julia Tan. Anna. Yukai Wong. Zun Yang. Minsi Yang. Shikai Yu. Shoshan Zhang. Shuasi Zhu. Shang So Jackie Zhu Diploma of the Imperial College Master of Philosophy Department of Materials Ostian Overbo Diploma of the Imperial College Doctor of Philosophy Department of Materials Ahmed Mohammed Yossi Frikri Mohammed Ismaili the Mathe Prize, Nayong Kim. Lorizata <laughs> Muhammad Naziri. That now concludes the graduates from the Department of Materials. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduates.
Diploma of the Imperial College, Master of Science, Department of Mechanical Engineering. The MSc in Sustainable Energy Futures Prize for Best Performance in Examined Components. And for the Best Research Project, Fifi Amparunati. Jaffer Albarami. Jaffer Albarami. The Unwin Postgraduate Prize, Maria Raposo de Lima. <laughs> Ali Amon. Glenn Baker. George Barron. <laughs> Polina Becerra Zavala. Diana Karina Bidigo. Ronaldo Bona. Bruno Cameron, Aaron Carver, Thomas Chadwick, Sturgio Paracos, Maurizio Raimondo de Premi, Antoine Jean Kripo, James Andrew Cross, Abbas Daluwala. Mikael Darty, Jose Ramon de Guidar Cargo, Ronan Antoine Loic de Bois, Alulia Esquerdo, Freya Espear, Paloma Garlega, Garlegos Alvarenska. Ali Chaitan Joseph Gulreis, Baron James Hemingway, Valentin Ode, John Harim Intasar, Teresa Arigoye Lopez. The Unwin Postgraduate Prize in Mechanical Engineering, Luke Jemison. <laughs> Teo Gehart. June K. Alan Cook, Didier Lan, Ho Ling Yung Arthur, That's not Ian Delclo. Josephine de May, Thomas de Rontier, Lucy, Lucy Lou, Rachel Mary Vivian Lockway, Daniel Lopez Garcia, Paul Lorang, Hazima Mahmoud, Korea Marcotta. Adriana Matten, Pragadishni Menakumar, Constantinos Middleton, Carlos Rene Miang Medina, Habibula Awedoku, Erin Oscar, Liro Linos Paratitis, Fabio Massimio Perotti. Yasmin Pokrant, Andrisu Lorenzo Polastri, Andrew Lorenzo Polastri. Florian Gomez. Benoit Fruitsis. Jai Lun Park. Pierre Louis Ragon. Itania Guyana. Eleanor Raphael. 
the MSc in Sustainable Energy Futures Prize for Best Overall Performance, Cameron Scott Sheehan. <laughs> Maria Silva Carvaco Aguida Pedri. Yanis Kupras. Paul Sandman. Thomas Schneider. Janis Skupras. Where's Jake? Jake Psoe. Aris Tekopoulos. Hasib Usmani. Charlotte Van Lanker. Anthony Wang. Tong Wei, Daniel Shao, Shangti Yang, Curtis Yu, Adiha Yuliartha, Maximilian Zimmer, Omarzin Abidin, Alexander Zenith. Diploma of the Imperial College, Doctor of Philosophy, Department of Mechanical Engineering. Sami Chi Chu Hei. Umar Hassan. Ashke Gai Kosla. Zheng Yu. Sing Meng Luan. Gareth Morgan. Yu Hai Sun, Richard Williams, George Winter, Han Wan, Eloise Carlotta Bones. That now concludes the graduates from the Department of Mechanical Engineering and the Faculty of Engineering. Please join me in a round of applause for the graduates.
presentation of the Outstanding Student Achievement Award. Jean-Marc. Mr. Jean-Marc Fagali is making a swift and substantial impact on the field of civil engineering, especially for visually impaired people. Having completed a master's thesis investigating visually impaired accessibility issues on London's underground, he went on to further explore visual impairment with PhD research on the mobility characteristics affecting visually impaired people in different operational scenarios. His early findings, based on state-of-the-art experiments, have accelerated the development of assistive technology while also improving accessible transport design. In commitment to practical implementations of his research, Mr. Fagali leads the research and development of the WeWalk Smart Cane, a device that is now in use by visually impaired people across the globe. The device has limitless engineering and medical potential, having already received support from Microsoft and the Royal National Institute of Blind People. Alongside these contributions, Mr. Fagali also sits on the Independent Disability Advisory Group of Transport for London, where he works to strengthen collaboration across disciplines to truly improve the lives of visually impaired people. I therefore invite you, Provost, under the powers granted by you by the Council, to award Mr. Jean-Marc Fagali an Outstanding Student Achievement Award. Presentation of the President's Medals. Nigel. Professor Nigel Graham. President's Medal for Excellence in Research Supervision. Professor Nigel Graham has an outstanding international reputation in his research field, which is mirrored by the quality of his research supervision. In his many leadership roles, he has demonstrated a high level of technical mentoring and personal encouragement that has inspired his students to high standards of achievement. He provides an exemplary supportive environment involving regular informal and formal meetings, detailed and timely feedback, and an ideal balance between close supervisory guidance and encouragement of personal research innovation and independence by his students. Over the course of his long and committed career at Imperial College London, he has personally supervised 35 students to successful completion. Many have gone on to reach senior positions in other universities and credit him with making a highly positive influence on them. I therefore invite you, Provost, under the powers granted to you by the Council, to award Professor Nigel Graham a President's Medal for Excellence in Research Supervision. Dr. Andrew Phillips, President's Medal for Excellence in Teaching Innovation. 
Dr. Andrew Phillips consistently promotes innovative and inclusive approaches to design teaching and learning on the college's civil engineering master's degree. He has devised several dynamic modules that enable students to prepare for the fast moving engineering work environment. He introduced the sketching and modeling module, which has become known for setting the deep department apart from other institutions, combining innovative analog and digital approaches to design, blending live and recorded demonstrations, and providing interactive workshops and critique sessions. He also transformed the department's group design projects into an intensive civil engineering design experience with student groups working on industry-led projects. He was the first in the department to introduce intra-group peer assessment throughout a design activity and won consistent praise from students, staff, industry, external examiners and institution accreditors. Dr. Phillips introduced reflective design portfolios that allow students to track and reflect on their progress and is also leading the creation of the Alumni Mentor Network with the aim of providing the opportunity for every starting undergraduate student to partner with an alumni mentor. I therefore invite you, Provost, under the powers granted to you by the Council to award Dr Andrew Phillips a President's Medal for Excellence in Teaching Innovation. Dr. Firat Gouda, President's Medal for Outstanding Early Career Researcher. Dr. Firat Gouda joined the college from Harvard University, where he worked with Professor George Whitesides, one of the most cited living chemists in the world. In the intervening years, he has gone from strength to strength, publishing more than 40 peer-reviewed articles in leading journals, for example, in 2019, he published an article on biodegradable sensors that detect food safety as an alternative approach to use by dates, which lead to substantial unnecessary food waste. The piece was the most read paper that year and led to numerous speaking and media opportunities. In addition to his cutting edge, edge research, Dr. Gouda is co-inventor of nine patents and co-founder of three award-winning startups. Collectively, the companies have raised more than four million pounds, won numerous awards, created employment, and are steadily making progress to produce products to improve our lives and the world around us. I therefore invite you, Provost, under the powers granted to you by the Council, to, aw to award Dr. Firat Buda a President's Medal for Outstanding Early Career Researcher. The Adaptive Emergent Systems Engineering Group, President's Medal for Outstanding Research Team. The Adaptive Emergent Systems Engineering Group, AESE, is an outstanding set of multidisciplinary scholars who are led by Professor Julie McCann, Professor of Computer Systems in the, Compu in the Department of Computing at Imperial College. The group brings together expertise from computer science, systems engineering, electronic engineering and physics to understand sensor-based systems, which form the basis of many, many modern computing and smart infrastructures. Since being founded in 2002, they have published approximately 300 peer-reviewed um, pieces, contributed to top-tier conferences and received 
over £15 million in competitive international funding from the EU, Intel, NEC Japan, Singapore's NRF and ABB Limited, as well as EPSRC and NERC grants. Their work is valued by many industrial partners with applications ranging from underground soil sensing for agriculture to water distribution sensing and control and through to 3D printed sensors for space. I therefore invite you, Provost, under the powers granted to you by the Council to award the Adaptive Emergent Systems Engineering Group a President's Medal for Outstanding Research Team. Accepting the award on behalf of the group is Dr. Michael Bretzer. Presentation of the Imperial College Medal. If I could invite uh, Ian Cox to the stage. Mr. Ian Conn has built an impressive career across major businesses in the global energy sector, and we are proud that he is an eminent alumnus of Imperial College London. He graduated in 1985, having studied chemical engineering with management at the college. Mr. Conn has maintained his commitment to the college as a member of college council and as chair of the business school advisory board. Over 17 years, he has given the school pivotal strategic advice, provided wise and incisive contributions, offered insightful lectures, and acted as an invaluable friend and supporter for each of the school's deans all alongside a very demanding executive career at BP and Centrica. I therefore invite you, Provost, under the powers granted to you by the Council, to award Mr Ian Conn an Imperial College Medal in recognition of his exceptional contribution to the life and work of Imperial College London. Professor Chris Hankin to the stage. <clears throat> Professor Chris Hankin has given outstanding service to the college over more than 30 years. He has served in numerous leadership roles, most notably as Pro-Rector Research and as Director of the Institute for Security Science and Technology, where he continues as a Fellow. As Pro-Rector, Professor Hankin oversaw the development of the first college-wide research strategy. Major outcomes include the creation of multidisciplinary research institutes and the RCUK Academic Fellowship Scheme. The latter led to the college securing 31 academic fellows and gave inspiration for the junior research fellows, now ICRFs, at the college. Both schemes have been central to developing the college's new talent. Professor Hankin was also the Dean of the City and Guilds College prior to the faculty restructure and President of the City and Guilds College Association. For many years he acted as the College's main link to the City and Guilds of London Institute, assisting new engineering degrees to receive ACGI post-nominals and many College staff to be awarded the Fellowship. I therefore invite you, Provost, under the powers granted to you by the Council, to award Professor Chris Hankin an Imperial College Medal in recognition of his exceptional contribution to the life and work of Imperial College London. <laughs> I invite Professor Jeff Kramer to the stage. For more than 45 years, 
Professor Jeff Kramer has devoted his energy and talent to the international software engineering community and the college's Department of Computing. He is one of the founding researchers in the fields of software architecture and requirements engineering, with work that is globally recognized by numerous awards and keynote lectures. He is also renowned as a committed educator. Professor Kramer's teaching and research has inspired successive generations of undergraduates and PhD students in the Department of Computing. He instills in his students a critical faculty for determining engineering elegance and structure in software versus brute force complexity. He has trained and graduated 25 PhD students, many of whom have gone on to have distinguished careers of their own. He has also made significant improvements to, to the department's course offerings in his roles as Director of Studies and Head of Department, which laid the foundation for a considerable increase in the reputation of its degrees. I therefore invite you, Provost, under the powers granted to you by the Council, to award Professor Jeff Kramer an Imperial College Medal in recognition of his exceptional contributions to the life and work of Imperial College London. Presentation of the honorary graduates. Ross. Thank you. Mr. Ross Braun, honorary degree. Mr. Ross Braun is one of the most successful and innovative technical directors in the history of Formula One. A racing legend, he has won 22 FIA World Championships and the, the Le Mans 24 hours, including 11 Formula One World Championships with Ferrari, seven with Williams and Benetton, and both of the 2009 Formula One World Driver, Drivers and Constructors Championships with his own Braun GP team. He is credited with having unparalleled technical knowledge of the motorsport industry and supporting the evolution of Formula One. In 2010, his services to motorsport were recognized with an OBE. Mr. Braun's Formula One career began in 1978 as a machinist at Williams Grand Prix Engineering Limited, where he was responsible for developing race car aerodynamics. At the time, Williams used the wind tunnel facilities at Imperial College London, and Mr. Braun regularly visited the Department of Aeronautics. Since then, he has been very supportive of the college's students. Today, more than 50 alumni of the Department of Aeronautics have been recruited by F1 teams. I therefore invite you, Provost, under the powers granted to you by the Council, to award Mr. Ross Braun an honorary degree of Doctor of Science in recognition of his contribution to the field of mechanical engineering. Baroness Brown of Cambridge, Julia King, honorary degree. We are honoured today to recognise the achievements of one of the country's most influential advisers on climate change, the Baroness Brown of Cambridge, Julia King. Baroness Brown is currently chair of the House of Lords Select Committee on Science and Technology and plays an influential national role as a leading voice on climate change. She has also built a successful career in industry and academic leadership. The college benefited from Julia's expertise and commitment to engineering while she served as the principal of the Faculty of Engineering between 2004 and 2006. During this time, she initiated the formation of the Energy Futures Lab, 
supported investment in the Department of Bioengineering and gave her time to develop the early careers of female engineers. In 2006, she moved to Aston University as Vice-Chancellor, a role she served in for 10 years. In 1999, Baroness Brown Services to Materials Engineering were recognized with a CBE. She was subsequently awarded a DBE for her services to education and technology in 2012. And three years later, she was elevated to the peerage as a cross bench member of the House of Lords. In this vital role, Julia has made it a priority to increase the understanding of and develop responses to climate change. Her commitment to this cause is shown by her leadership in a wide range of roles. She was vice chair of the Committee on Climate Change for 13 years from 2008 to 2021 and continues as chair of its adaptation committee. In her climate change role, she has returned to Imperial to work with the Faculty of Engineering on a national research program exploring the integration of more renewables in the UK energy system. We are delighted to see her return to the college. I therefore invite you, Provost, under the powers granted to you by the Council to award the Baroness Brown of Cambridge, Julia King, an honorary degree of Doctor of Science in recognition of her, of her outstanding contribution to engineering. As Chair of Council, I have the privilege of bringing these proceedings to a close. And first of all, I want to offer my heartfelt congratulations to everyone who has graduated today, uh, and not just those who are present, but also those who have perhaps been unable to be with us today. Um, I know you probably feel grateful to Imperial for what it's offered you in, in the, the years that you've been studying here. But actually, I'd like to thank all of you for bringing your talent and diversity to Imperial. You know, this community is about not just those who teach, but also those who learn. And the talent that you bring contributes enormously, I think, to the continued success of this institution. And certainly sitting here and seeing people graduating today, I've been inspired and quite moved by seeing just, you know, just how diverse in every sense the student community, our graduates, actually are. Now, please go out and do something really positive. You know, use your education and qualifications to help address the huge challenges the world faces and to make a difference to the world. Um, engineers, I'm told, are superb problem solvers. So please help solve the world's problems. And they are many and manifest at the moment. We've come through major challenges while you've been at Imperial. COVID, not vanquished, but at least managed and Brexit, where we are still really in the foothills. But we now have to deal with the impact on the world of the Russian invasion of Ukraine, world stability disturbed, global economies destabilized, and the human cost, deaths, injuries, millions of refugees, and all of these numbers still mounting. The outlook for world peace looks very different from just even just a month ago. So let's think for a moment about students in Ukraine and the challenges they're currently facing, either as refugees or besieged residents, or indeed serving in the military. Please do whatever you can to help refugees, whether they're from Ukraine, Afghanistan, or other. We can all do something. A small contribution to the college's sanctuary fund uh, would be very helpful as we try to make provision for those who have been disrupted by this. And as an inspiration to you, one of the members of our uh, Imperial College Business School Advisory Board has just sorted out a hundred Ukrainian refugees in northern France, found them homes, found them jobs, found schools for the children, found them doctors, it's ensuring that they're learning to speak French, etc. That's one inspired woman 
helping support 100 refugees, so surely all of you can do something too. And of course, we have the great challenge ahead. We've just heard about it uh, with the, the honor, honorary graduation that we've just had of climate change and getting the world to net zero, a huge and vitally important undertaking. Many of you, I'm sure, are concerned about that, capable of contributing to it. Please, please go out and, and make a contribution. So whatever your specific discipline, you can and should try to make a difference. Wherever in the world you're going to be, whatever it is you're going to do, you can make a difference. And don't feel you're leaving Imperial. As you go forth to do whatever you'll choose to do in the future, you'll still be part of the Imperial family, and we will be keen to hear of your progress and achievements. I'm coming to the end of my remarks, but before I close, I'd ask you to join me in thanking everyone at Imperial who's helped you get to this point your tutors and other academic staff, and all the other Imperial staff who play a vital role in making this great institution work. Please give them a big hand. Now that wasn't bad, but I'll also ask you in a moment to recognize your family and friends who've supported you to get here and then to succeed. You know, your parents, your grandparents, your brothers and sisters, your partners, your husbands, your wives, and of course, friends who have also been with you, supported you as you've been getting here. I'm told that engineers can not only solve problems, but also can be really noisy. So please blow the roof off in a moment with your appreciation of their efforts. Please go for it this time. That was a terrific, that was terrific. I'll use that as a benchmark to try and see if the other faculties can do better later today. Now in a moment we'll have the national anthem, so please be chasing, patient just for a, a, a minute or two and wait for that, and then the academic procession. Don't kill us as we process out. I know you want to go out and deserve to go out and celebrate everything that you've achieved, but just a little patience for a minute or two first. Thank you all very, very much. <clears throat>